Welcome to the Infineon Raceway where we see these cars turning left and right and fuel strategy comes into play just like last week at uh, Michigan and Pocono. So keep in mind for that. <laughs> so we got a lot of things to do. This is the third annual Toyota Save or Toyota Save More 350 under the lights. This isn't the third ever race, but this is the third time we've been under the lights at this racetrack, <clears throat> and it, it produces some pretty good racing. To, to be honest, as you can see, uh, defending uh, Budweiser All Pro Series champion Nick Altendorf is on the pole. Outside of him is the 14 to Kyle Matthews. Oh, excuse me. So, anyways. We're about to get down to business here. We got 10 laps of racing. Pit stops are on, so they will have to make at least one pit stop this whole race. And I'm hoping... Oh, excuse me, my sinuses are acting up. I'm hoping that it's, it's that they make green flag pit stops so we can see who's going to roll the dice and everything. So I'm hoping for as minimal cautions as possible as we go trackside for those most famous words of motorsports. <laughs> Drivers, start the engines! Uh, classic redneck giving us the command. <coughs> Cars rolling off the grid, on, uh, rolling off where they stopped at. <coughs> Coming around when they, when they finish the lap here at, uh, when they finish the lap here at yeah when, when they finish the lap here at Infineon we will be going green flag racing so let me go ahead and uh, kind of skip ahead here all right and just just because I'm right here here's a good rundown of the of the starting positions <coughs> There you go, all 42 drivers. <laughs> Getting ready for the start of the Toyota Save Mart 350 Budweiser All Pro Series. <laughs> With only five chase spots remaining and roughly seven to eight races left before the chase even begins. <sighs> It's a good chance that we might see more than 16 winners. And if we do, <clears throat> we will have to take only the top 16. <clears throat> meaning uh, only the drivers who uh, finish. Meaning only the drivers who are the top 16 chase eligible drivers, I should say. So, without further ado... Here we go, getting ready for the start of the Toyota Save Mart 350. Getting ready to, on the first way to weigh the pace cars in the green flag is out. We're underway here at Infineon. Nick Altendorf got a great start and he was able to pull out ahead of Kyle Matthews in the 14. Oh, we already had a car out in the trouble here. Oh, we've already had an accident. Jessica Shelton. Uh, Cameron Pemberton, I think it might have been just Shelton, though. But the caution flag is already out here on lap number one. As you see the cars. <clears throat> huh, you guys see the cars in the back here fighting for position. Nastan back here watching as these cars fight through the corners. <laughs> I 
Okay, the 7 car of Stephanie Naylor have some damage too. The 17 is really slow. <clears throat> Not too sure why. Oh, we've had another accident! That's Charles Jackson that went head first into the tire barrier. Uh oh. <clears throat> Charles Jackson's run into some trouble. As these drivers take the caution flag, we're going to go take a look and see at what happened to bring out the caution for the first time tonight. Alright, this is what happens when you go three wide in a corner. I guess I can't really go any further than that. You see the 17 car already in trouble at this point, but the 25 car hooks the 54 and the 7 car, they both get into the wall, bounces off the 13, and the 13 spins the 25 car around. That's what initially brings out the full course yellow. <clears throat> but there's some problem with the 17 car that they're, I think they're in the process of trying to get fixed on pit road. Now we're going to see what happened with Charles Jackson <clears throat> as we skip ahead here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Everything looks good for the 54 car coming through the corner. He, ooh, he got. He might have gotten a little sideways. He probably had to check up so he didn't run into the four. He checked. Yeah, he checked up a little bit more than usual. And the 16 of Derek Pemberton turned Charles right into the tire barriers, where his car just grabbed the tire barrier and stayed. <clears throat> so that's what happens to Charles Jackson under. That was and after it was already under the first caution. So let's go back up for the restart. Welcome back here at Infineon where we're getting ready to go back underneath the green flag. We are only have one car out of the race. That is Charles Jackson because of his accident with Derek Pemberton and, and the inside tire barrier. Your top 10 rundown coming to the green is Nick Altendorf. Kyle Matthews, Cody Hagen, Preston Plohr, Annabelle Baldwin, Sam Young, O'Neill Baldwin, Dougie Shears, James Qualls, and Daniel Voiles. So here we go. The pace car you see will come down the pit lane. The 3, the 14, and others. They're going to come around the, this turn right here. Pick up their pick up their speed and get ready for the restart. <clears throat> Here we go, getting ready for the restart. Green flag is back underway, and here we go. If memory serves me correctly, as long as we don't have another caution flag. Um, though these cars should come down the pit road anywhere between seven laps seven to nine, which is right at the end, which is what makes this race so exciting. Nick Altendorf though is able to keep his lead going through the turns here. Still under green. Whatever the problem was with the 17 car, they definitely fixed it. Now he's got to work his way through the field. down through the field you saw we are still under green and Nick Altendorf pulling away Nick Altendorf had a very strong car this weekend he thought he thought for sure that this would be the weekend he'd be able to solidify him a spot in the chase by winning and putting his name in there to try to defend his cup series championship we go through the, if we go further on through the back here, you see some of these cars back end step around. That's just how loose this racetrack is when you're trying to go through corners. 
<clears throat> we're going to have to see who can possibly win this because if I'm wrong on the strategy and everybody comes in at once, who, who knows who, who can win this race. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, I apologize. The fastest speed these cars have run, average speed of 55 miles per hour, it shows by the number three. As you can see, the fastest t fastest driver on the racetrack is that number three, by almost a full second. Or, excuse me, half a second. All right, coming out through Dukem with five laps remaining to face the three-car of Nick Altendorf. And picked up another five miles per hour, another five miles per hour. Ooh, couple. Ooh, something might have happened unless these drivers are coming out of pit road. The 48 of Nick Pericles, the one of Trent Dunham, and the seven of Stephanie Naylor have, I believe, may have made pit stops already and have come out of pit road. Uh, it's either that or something bad happened to him. But Nick Altendorf still on the racetrack and still with the lead. That's a good thing about this racetrack is that it's big enough where if you pit, you won't go a lap down. Unless, of course, the leaders catch you. I actually love coming to... I actually love coming to Infineon because it's a good chance to see these cars twist and turn and stuff in, uh, in, the, in this racetrack. So we're going to have to wait and see. Is the three car coming to pit road? No, the three car is not coming to pit road this time. We're going to go on the on board the, the 14 car of Kyle Matthews as he takes us for a ride around the Infineon Raceway. little bit of time on the three car he can gain but he then he loses. <laughs> Turn three seven now going back down here through the S's. This is a little bit of these are some fast S's by the way. Very fast. Still underneath the green flag. Coming to last eight. I believe we might see some of these drivers duck off in the pit road any time. <laughs> yep, just like now, here they come, coming down pit road. 14 to Kyle Matthews is going to come down pit road. Pace speed or pit road speed here is uh, 30, 35 miles per hour as they come down pit road. The question is now who is going to stay out? There's got to be one driver, one driver that was brave, that's got to be brave enough to stay out. And no, they actually all pit at the same time. Except for the 48 and the 1. <laughs> they actually... They might have... Like I said, they might have pit already. Green flag is still out for the 48 of Nick Pericles. Question remains is can the 48 car beat the 3 car out of pit lane? He is definitely fully up to speed as they're coming up through the corner here. <clears throat> oh, the three car didn't get off pit road first. In fact, it might have. It's the 14 of Kyle Matthews. <clears throat> Kyle Matthews and Cody Hagen actually beat the three car out of pit road. And the 48 car is up to second. Or, the, excuse me, the third. <laughs> Costly error somehow on pit road cost the number three car his at least two positions on the, on the racetrack. So now the lead is over to the number fourteen of Kyle Matthews. <laughs> the forty-eight car is all over the back bumper of his teammate. All over the back bumper. The forty-eight car is right now. Ooh, the 48 car. Better watch out. Caution! 
Her caution flag is out. Not sure why, or where, or or exactly what what reason. But the caution flag is out. So that's gonna automatically hand the win to the 14. And the 48 car just beat his teammate to the line for second. Oh, a little bit of, of argument there. Cody Hagen and Nick Pericles arguing over spots. But the caution is out, and the 48 car did get the, the 24 for second place. <clears throat> they just told the 24 that on the radio, saying the 40 car is ahead of you. <clears throat> Alright, so now, as we have a bunch of time here... We're going to go back and we're going to look at the start finish line to see when the caution came out so we could see who it was for. <clears throat> Apparently the caution was out for quite a long time. Okay, let's see. Okay, caution flag is out right now, but who is it for and what happened? Oh, James Qualls. What happened to him? Oh, he got turned by Dylan Young. Let's see. Yep, right there. Dylan Young turned the 11 car, but I don't think that's what brought the caution. Then the 11 car kind of jumped. Got hit by the 23, and then off out into the track he went. So that's what brought out the caution flag, and that's what's going to end the race. So now we're going to go back up here to, uh... <clears throat> oh, the 48 car is coming back to pit road. The 48 of, Co of uh, Nick Pericles is coming back to pit road. So the white flag is out, one lap to go, and it's under caution, as I'm skipping ahead here because of all this. Here we go, <clears throat> coming slowly at a slow pace of I think it's 40 miles, nope, yeah, about 40, 35 to 40 miles per hour. <clears throat> Kyle Matthews, I, he might already have a win, but and if he does, this will be his second win and, his, and the chase clincher for the 14 car, but if he doesn't, then he, this is going to be his first win of the season. <clears throat> so here he comes, coming through slowly down the short chute into turn number 11 and through turn number 12. And behind the pace car, a little bit of a nudge there from the 24 of Cody Hagen. <clears throat> but Kyle Matthews driving the number 14, Mobile 1. Chevrolet from Stuart Haas Racing started today at racing in second, got first place off of pit road, and uh, Kyle Matthews will win the race under caution. Kyle Matthews, ecstatic on the radio right now as he wins the race. Under caution, but nonetheless, a win is a win in the in the Budweiser All Pro Series. As we're waiting for the last driver to cross the start finish line, which will be the 48 car. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward here. There we go. Excuse me. Kyle Matthews is the winner. So I'm gonna export these results. Infineon. Probably spelled that wrong, but I don't care. So Kyle Matthews is your winner, Cody Hagen second, Nick Altendorf third, Preston Plored fourth, Sam Young fifth, Trent Dunham, Daniel Boyles, Jessica Villanueva, Annabelle Baldwin, and Dougie Shears round out your top ten. Now as we continue to go on down through the list here, you see the only car to retire is Charles Jackson. So he's going to have to get up next week at Daytona. We are heading back to Daytona, and I'm going to do something a little differently. I am going to have... I'm going to have Coke 0400 qualifying, and it'll be live here on the McKinley Man 93 network, and it's going to be awesome, to say the least, for qualifying-wise here at to here at Daytona. So, for Michael Norman and the Budweiser All-Pro Series, we say thank you for joining us here tonight at the Road Course of Infineon. We will see you guys next week at Daytona. 
under the lights again. So thank you guys so much for watching. For Michael Norman and the rest of us here tonight, I say until we meet again.